round the world with Woody. Let her roll. And now, my fine people, presto! Almost 2,000 years ago, the city of Pompeii was destroyed by the world's most active volcano, Mount Vesuvius. Once again, Vesuvius erupts in its 50th explosion. Yes, he's really blowing it up. A river of molten rock, moving at a rate of three feet a minute, streams down the mountainside, destroying everything in its path. In a matter of minutes, the steaming lava wipes out centuries of work and toil. But man will return once again to challenge the wrath of Vesuvius. In 1935, the Normandy, second largest ship ever built by man, slid down the ways to become the queen of the seas. She was a real luxury liner. With her powerful engines, she set new records for the Atlantic crossing. Puffing tugboats help ease her into the dock at New York. Then seven years later, tragedy struck as she was being converted to a troop carrier. A fire broke out below decks and the Normandy was doomed. Fire boats poured tons of water into the ship, but to no avail. Finally, the weight of the water caused her to list and capsize. After many months of tedious work, she was raised. It was the end of her sailing days, but not the end of her usefulness. She was sold for scrap metal. And who knows, kids? Maybe that bicycle you are riding was made out of the wonderful Normandy. One of the most dangerous animals in the world is the rhinoceros. But these modern hunters have no fear of him as they pursue him across the African belt. The African what? The veldt. Hey, watch it, fellas. No hitting below the veldt. <laughs> they won't hurt Mr. Rhino. They're just out to capture him and bring him back alive for some big city zoo. That's nice. The fast chase soon tires out the huge beast, and the wily hunter moves in cautiously. You'll notice the rhino has only one horn. With no traffic, what does he need a horn for? Looks like he's down for the count. The big boy is very, very tired. Yeah, and soon he'll be retired. From now on, he'll spend a nice, easy life in the zoo with plenty of good food and a nice, cozy home. It's a one-way ticket for Mr. Rhino and the rest of his African pals, the funny-faced giraffe and the huge elephants. Bon voyage, Mr. Rhino. I'll be seeing you in the zoo. Zoos all over the world attract thousands of people daily. Many wild animals, because of the tender and loving care they receive, become very tame, especially those that are born in captivity. However, there's one outlaw that can't be trusted. That's the polar bear. It isn't the wild and unusual animals that get all the attention. To many youngsters raised in the big city, domestic animals from the farm are just as exciting and interesting. You'll always find a lot of monkey business at the zoo. <laughs> Looks like he's training for the Olympics. One of the daffiest creatures is the penguin. Even though he's a bird, he can't fly, but he's always well-dressed for dinner or a dip. 
Elephants are some of our most intelligent animals. They are easily trained and despite their awkward appearance, are very agile and can do a variety of amazing stunts. Yeah, he sure is a show-off, boss. Many animals are natural-born clowns, even the smallest ones, such as the squirrel. He's very curious and always looking for adventure. He must think that dog is some kind of a nut. Woody, it's just a game they're playing. <laughs> 